Early on in my research on German literature, I came across this fantastic poet, Else Lasker Schüler. I wrote part of my dissertation about her, and I have been reading and commenting on her and teaching her ever since. Else Lasker Schüler is the greatest modernist author, woman in the German language. She uh, was born in 1869 in Elberfeld, in a little village in Germany, left her established, conventional, and assimilated family to join the Berlin Boheme. She lived there in cafes and cheap hotels and even park benches, uh, and was a genuinely unconventional and very eccentric figure. In 1933, Lasker Schüler left Germany when Hitler came to power, and uh, she ended up, after trying to flee uh, by Zurich and back, she ended up in the end here in Jerusalem, uh, where she lived in Rechavia for a couple of years and uh, wasn't very happy here. She missed a Germany that no longer existed. Lasker Schüler died in 1945 and she's buried on the Mount of Olives. I'm very happy that I had the opportunity to establish an annual Else Lasker Schüler lecture at the Leo Beck Institute. She wrote beautiful poetry, very often love poetry, addressed to her lovers, to God, or to herself. She, was, she invented a, an androgynous figure, and altogether a figure for herself, so a persona, uh, that transgressed all boundaries of gender, of religions, of cultures, and um, altogether uh, wrote out of a sense of, uh, of freedom, uh, of infinite possibilities, that took her to a fantasy world for which some thought uh, that she could not even really be taken seriously. Uh, when one looks at her work, her poetry, and her paintings, her drawings closely, one sees that there is a highly accomplished artist uh, and a figure who actually could think of another world in very real terms a world where enemies could be befriended and where uh, the walls between people uh, could be brought down. And I think that makes her a very important and actual figure for today.